What do you mean they're taking money out of your check for child support? You don't even have kids. We'll talk about this when I get home. Let me guess. They have a judgment against your husband. How does that even happen? What is it all about? We'll discuss this next on Women Against Paternity Fraud. Default judgments are common and can happen to any man. A woman seeking welfare or child support is required to name who the father and the last known address. She does not have to give a truthful disclosure as to who the real father is. If the man she names as the father has moved or wasn't served, he wouldn't know about the court date to establish paternity. When he doesn't show up to his court date, a default judgment will be filed against him and he will become an instant father. Even if later he finds out through DNA testing he is not the father, he will still have to pay child support until the child turns 18 or 21 in some states. Because there is such a small window of opportunity to contest paternity, and men often have a lack of legal representation, they often don't prevail in fighting default judgments. When paternity fraud victims fall behind in their child support payments due to job loss, illness, injury, or disability, the child support system has very little sympathy and they could have their wages garnished. Drivers and business licenses revoked, taxes intercepted, publicly humiliated through most wanted posters, arrested, fined, and even imprisoned. Federal law does not directly require paternity establishments. Instead, the federal government uses the power of the purse to impose conditions upon state eligibility for a receipt of federal funds. While nothing in federal law requires or authorizes establishing paternity against the wrong man, there is also nothing in federal law that prohibits or penalizes tagging the wrong man. Eligibility for receipt of federal funds under TANF and under the incentive formula depends only upon tagging the largest possible number of men, and there is no review or requirement that it be the right man. With the enormous sums of federal funds that are at stake, the result is not difficult to predict. The government provides penalties and incentives to the states related to their performance and paternity establishment. Federal law establishes a target of paternity establishment in 90% of cases. But don't children deserve more than child support paid by extortion? Visit our website and become a member. Help us to help paternity fraud victims because paternity is important to you and to children.